fiction. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, great. So first of all, it's important to remember that in every good story, there's always some type of conflict. And this is where we want to focus our attention. The conflict and the action are usually critical to the plot and to the themes. Another important thing to consider would be motifs, things that repeat. This is always important with anything that you're reading. And then the last thing that we must pay special attention to would be the characters or the people and how they play a part in the conflict and the action that's going on. Remember the acronym CAMP, C-A-M-P, Conflict, Action, Motifs, and People. So when I'm annotating, I'm going to pay special attention to the conflict and action, any ideas that repeat, and anything that I think is important about the characters. Ideally, it's where these four things come together that we realize that we need to make note of something important. Let's use the story To Kill a Mockingbird. Hopefully you have read that by now. And if so, you'll know that there are several main characters. But let's focus on Scout. She's really the central character. Scout has a lot of conflict in her life. Some of it is internal. She is trying to determine where she fits in life. Some of it deals with society and how they're treating people of color. Some of it is the qualities of being a female and how she may not quite fit into that. And then another example would be the conflict within her family, with her dad and with her brother. Each of these are examples of conflict. At the beginning of the novel, Scout is a young girl and she seems relatively innocent, but there is conflict. In fact, one of the biggest forms of conflict have to do with how she and the rest of the world see Boo Radley. She suddenly feels torn. Boo is made out to be this scary phantom of a man and Scout and her brother and Dill set out to learn more about him. But they're secretly a little scared of what might be ahead. Now, all of this has occurred in the beginning of the book, and we already have some examples of conflict and action and ideas that are repeating, and we know some things about the characters. So, what might be some things that we would make note of? I know, I know. So, I think the kids are actually scared of Boo. I think there's some inner conflict going on. Absolutely. You probably would want to write all of that down. And you may even want to make some notes that are specific about the characters. You said that Boo was scary and the kids were scared of him. So that's definitely something that we need to pay attention to. And you said that Scout feels an inner conflict. So we probably want to make a note of that. Remember though, your annotations don't have to be long or complex. You're simply making some notes as you move through the text. Remember, half the battle is just taking the time to read closely and to make notes. When you make annotations, it actually helps you to process what you're reading better. So there's not just one way to do it. 
The important thing is that you do it. And if you do, you will find that your reading skills will improve greatly.